This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. It is for entertainment purposes only. The one, the only. A father in the house, baby. Wow! Okay, I'm going to put this in very simple terms, what's going on, because I know a lot of apes are very concerned, a lot of apes are, are getting discouraged, they're angry, I'm getting a lot of emails, okay, which is why the protest is very important, but I'm going to get to that in a second. So what's going on is this, let's say Citadel is shorting AMC, and let's just call their cost average five bucks, okay, let's say the current price of AMC, let's just call it $30, Okay, so what is the difference? The difference is 25 bucks, okay? So now what happens, okay, they get a margin call. They gotta, this is what happens. They gotta either pull up cash, okay, or collateral. Because now with the DTCC rule, they don't have to sell their stock. See, before this new rule, they would actually have, if they didn't have the cash, if they didn't have the cash, okay, to, to pay, obviously, uh, to avoid this margin call, they have to put up collateral. Okay, so what normally, in normal circumstances, they would have to sell their long positions, their profitable stocks, okay, to avoid a margin call. Now, with the DTCC new rule, they could, they don't have to sell the stock because the DTCC wants to avoid a market crash, okay? They could put it up as collateral. Now, what I'm trying to make everybody understand is this. Eventually, Citadel, even though they're a behemoth, you have to understand this, they're going to run out of money. And they're going to run out of options. They can't. See, this is what the problem is. They're very desperate. This is what you guys, I know it doesn't appear this way because you're looking at this and you're like, man, we're getting, we're getting our butts kicked here, man. Oh my God, they're beating us up. That's how it appears, right? But it's all an illusion. It's not real. See, when they avoid the margin call, it's like being, Citadel, it's like, Ken Griffin, it's like being a kid in a candy store. Now they get to play their little games all day long and manipulate. It doesn't cost them any money, okay, to manipulate the stock. I keep saying this. They just, it's like, it's promissory notes. So what they basically do is they keep printing more and more of this fake shares. Guys, obviously they're, they're doing this. We own the float. We know all of this already. And they're doing the same things every single day. And the idea is they're putting themselves more and more in debt, deeper in debt, which ironically is good for us. See, the, see, you're looking at the stock. You're seeing it at 30. You're like, oh, my God, we're getting our asses uh, handed to us. But you don't realize they're doing us a favor. They're digging themselves more and more in debt, which is ultimately going to bring the price of AMC higher. It's going to actually make you more money, okay? But it's it's all psychological warfare. This is what Ken Griffin does. He messes with your mind. He studies this. He says this. If I could create enough fear, if I could create enough uncertainty, apes are going to sell out of exhaustion, but you can't sell. Sell is not a part of our vocabulary. You got to instead attack. You see, you. this is what the eighth father is trying to teach all of you. You have to have an attitude, okay, where punch for a punch, baby. You understand? They hit us with an attack. We got to come back. But not with just an attack. We got to come back tenfold. We got to come back like a tank, like an Italian ape tank, baby. Okay, that's how we got to come back. Okay, so why, why do I tell you all every day? Buy, buy, buy. Fractional shares. I try to get every ape. This is why I'm telling you, listen to me. You got to share my videos with all the apes worldwide. And I'm getting a lot of messages. But it's so imperative that we keep buying fractional shares every hour. If we had 5 million apes spending $5 an hour, it's $25 million of buying pressure an hour. Guys, $10 an hour, $50 million of buying pressure an hour. Eventually, don't you understand? Doesn't everybody understand? Listen to the eighth father, baby. I know what I'm talking about. If we keep hitting Citadel with buying pressure, eventually there's going to be a margin call that they can't meet. That's it. They're either going to be out of, out of options. They're either going to be out of money. Or they're either going to be out of their low positions, they're going to have no collateral, then the party starts. The Moaz starts, baby! It's coming. I know, it, I know, listen, I know a lot of apes are freaking out, but that's why it's very unfair what they're doing. This is what I'm saying. They're using all of this friggin' counterfeit illegal fake money, okay, to, to create all of this fear and uncertainty. And that's why the A-Follow wants to protest. I don't care 
care if Matt Cause is not in. I don't care if Trey is not in. I don't care if the mask investor is not in. I'm in. And that's all you need, baby. You only need the eight father in your corner, baby. Okay? Email me, Richard, R-I-C-H-A-R-D, L is in Larry, E is in Edward, 101 at gmail.com. Put I'm in in the subject. Now, listen, remember something. Citadel has to cover their positions. And the positions have not been covered, baby. Their short positions have not been covered. Let me repeat this. Their short positions have not been covered. So the price is fake. It's an illusion. Pay it no mind. Keep the same strategy. Buy fractional shares every hour. Hold with diamond bowls of steel. Share my videos all over the world so we can build our ape army, army stronger. And let's protest on Wall Street. Let's protest at the SEC headquarters. Let's go on Wall Street and show them that the apes are a power, baby. We're a powerhouse. We're a power <coughs> house. <coughs> yeah, we're mighty mighty. I'm going to let it all hang out. <coughs> CK Griffin. <coughs> we're coming, baby. Protest time on Wall Street. Let's do it.